Again, welcome for the Camping World Truck Series. First practice. It's been a while since the trucks have been on the racetrack, but they are on the track now, and they're very thankful for that. The temperature just 52 degrees. It's been overcast. It has been raining in certain areas. They've got the track dry, and there are trucks on the track. So that is a great, great sign to see those trucks out. They have to balance those shocks, though. They want to hold the truck down to get a good aero platform at Atlanta, running over 180 miles an hour wide open. You want that truck held down so you got good aero. But then you compromise your mechanical grip. If you have too much pressure holding that truck down, your, your truck won't grip well mechanically. Here at Martinsville, we get to throw one of those away. We, we don't <laughs> care about our aero platform. Aero, aero's not big. We just want mechanical grip with our shocks. And so the crew chiefs, the shock guys, they're down there just trying to figure out Okay, what do I do to get ultimate grip with these shots? And you would use some of those yeah. things right there too, those springs. We were looking at Colin Brown riding along with him around this racetrack. He was one of the teams that did some testing at Rockingham. They have a track that is similar to Martinsville. It's a paper clip shape. It's not exactly like this racetrack, but they said that the big thing they were working on was brakes. They wanted to make sure the truck could stop. Well, I went there the other day and tested, and it's amazing what Andy Hillenberg and the folks down there at Rockingham Speedway have done. Uh, they call you, it Little Rock. Yeah, but and we're not talking Arkansas. We're talking down in North Carolina. And, but when you walk up to it, it, it looks visually, it, when you look at it, it looks more like Bristol. You think, man, this this is a banked racetrack. And then you go driving down in one of those turns once, and you figure out real quick that it's flat. <laughs> Just because there isn't any grandstands or anything around the track, it makes it look more banked. But, man, he did a great job simulating this racetrack, Adam. It's just one of the neatest experiences I've had lately, getting to drive at one track and thinking almost I was at another. Look at our practice times. David Starr was the fastest, and that happened very late actually on lap 33 for him so uh picking up the speed late in this practice session see a lot of toyotas up there in the top 10 got a chevrolets of kevin harvick and ron hornaday teammates colin brown in that ford in 11th rick crawford right behind him again rick crawford's been to victory lane here before now you remember in atlanta these guys were wide open oh we barely hear them lip. listen to all this action listen to colin brown off the gas and easy on the gas. And listen, listen when he comes off the gas down here at one. Just past the start finish line. Just barely past the start finish line. And see how smooth he is with that gas pedal? That's very important. You got it. You can't bust those tires loose with the hit of the gas. It's really critical that you get a good smooth throw to the gas pedal. You work with their team. Again, we are on hold as the track continues to dry. Let's go back to the garage and Adam Alexander. Colin Brown made his career debut here in October 07, Rookie of the Year last year. How confident are you entering this weekend? Well, you know, the first practice session for this number six Conway Freight Ford F-150 was a little struggle for us. Uh, we went and tested at Little Rockingham up in, uh, in Rockingham, and it didn't, you know, it went really well, but I don't know if we learned things that really apply to this racetrack so had to kind of undo some of those we did uh, the last change here the last run we were really comfortable with it really made a big improvement to the truck and i feel like we're going to be in good shape for the race so just be staying out of trouble they are in the top five ray welcome everyone to a wet martinsville speedway and camping world truck series qualifying today we are hopeful we will see the truck series qualify and race as the track crews do their best to dry this half mile racetrack in central virginia weatherman says there's a 50 percent chance of rain so we're hoping he is on the 50 percent side right that it is going to be dry today well we're hoping the nascar camping world truck series gets on the racetrack today qualifying scheduled to be coming up in just a short bit of time but uh yesterday as you said johnny they did get two practice sessions one of those practice sessions this guy was pretty darn good in the final practice session eighth quick for colin brown but what is this place like we were just chatting about this is your fourth time here can you describe this to the folks at home what this place is like well it's a really cool racetrack you know it's a lot of fun it's a challenging racetrack it's one of those racetracks where i feel like the more disciplined and, and you know prudent you are doing what you do uh, the better you are you know it's just a challenging place for a driver to be but you still haven't gotten a top five finish here no i still haven't that's obviously why i'm not having they don't have this thing figured out yet so uh you know, looking forward to today i feel like we got a really good truck with our number six conway freight Ford F-150 truck. We were okay in the first practice and got it a lot better in the second practice. You know, we're talking about uh, not a top five finish yet, but uh, the secret is the hot dogs, dude. Have you had a hot dog yet? You know, I look at the hot dogs and I just can't do it. I don't think I could stomach one. I mean, they look like they'd be tasty, but then again, you look at them and they don't look very appealing. So I haven't had one yet. 
I'm telling you, that's a secret, so you got to get her done. Do you have a record yet of how many have eaten in a day? Um, well, 43, my brother, in one weekend. But I've had two for breakfast, Randy Pemberton, and I know you've had some hot dogs, too. By the way, in the concession stand down here, Randy, yesterday, 2,000 hot dogs sold. Oh, wow. Colin Brown making his fourth trip to Martinsville. He started fourth here last fall. Tell you what, he's got a crew chief, though, that's probably been here 40 or 50 times. Oh, Mike Bean, back in the Harry Gant days. I guarantee you, Mike's watched a lot of circles around this half-mile racetrack. But it doesn't seem there's, there's there's just something wrong with this picture. How many trucks through the years has Jack Roush had in the Camping World Series? And this is his only entry yeah. this year. Yeah. I mean, you know, normally Jack's got what three or four, five yeah. trucks. Well, a 2009 is going to put him fourth right now. And it actually 2009-1, and that ties Ron Hornaday even out to the thousandths of a second. Uh, but Ron should start in front of Colin because of the point situation. That's the tiebreaker.